Hello knitters! My name is Vanessa Ewing. I am a designer and a hand dyer. My hand dyed brand is Kate May Fiber and I wanted to show today how to start the clove hitch scarf. This is a design I recently published and it is a two color triangular scarf. When you get your pattern, you can print it out or PDF, of course. It has this great texture stitch going on throughout it that kind of resembles crochet. It's not too difficult to do. In fact, all you need to do is knit two together and purl two together in a series and you will get this stitch. I am gonna show you how to get started. You will need a size nine knitting needle. Uh, these are my two colors I'm gonna be using. Uh, they are hand dyed by me and this is color Congress Hall and then this color is dark teal. So it's good to have a little contrast but it's not necessary. For instance in the brown shawl I showed you that was a solid with a multi. You can do two multis that would look really cool and I have done that on my sweater weather and neon rainbow fish sample. So to start out you'll want to designate which color is A and which color is B. I'm gonna use this as color A and this will be color B. So I'm gonna cast on three stitches with color A. You can cast on any way you like. I'm just gonna do a long tail. Two, three, that's it. Leave yourself a little tail because you're gonna to wanna to weave that in later. Too long of a tail, you wanna snip too short, you can't weave in properly, so it's about uh, six to eight inches. Grab your color B, and this is considered the wrong side. You don't really need to know that right now. It's not super important. Um, when you get more into the scarf and you wanna put it down, say, you know, pick up your phone or whatever, you wanna probably put like a little marker for what designates the right and the wrong side. So I knit those three stitches with B, that's row one. Row two is knit one, knit front and back, knit one. Now we have four stitches. I'm going to be carrying the other color that I'm not using up the side of the work. So there's no cutting. You're just gonna go ahead and alternate and it's two rows of each color. So there's not a long uh, float on the side anyway. So we're on row three and we're going to knit with A. Row four is knit two. Knit front and back and then knit one. And you should have five stitches on your needle. And this is making the first corner of our triangular scarf. So that's why we're doing our increase rate and we haven't started the knit two together pattern yet, but we will soon. So this is row five and we're just going to knit row six, knit three, knit front and back to the next stitch and knit one and there will be six stitches. Row seven, color A, and you're going to knit row eight. This is our first row of pattern stitch. So we're going to knit one, two, three, and then we're going to purl two together, these two stitches, but we won't be slipping them off the needle. We're also going to knit two together into them. So normally when you purl two together or you knit two together, that is a decrease. But we are actually not decreasing any stitches when we do this. So you're going to purl two stitches together, but do not slip them off. Bring your yarn around to the back and then knit those same two stitches together and then you can slide off. So there we have, and then you can barely see it, but it's like a little, little knot. So then go ahead and knit the last stitch and row eight is complete. Row nine is knit. Oh. 
row 10. We're going to be doing, again, we're starting the pattern stitch. One, two, three, knit front and back. And then same thing as we did before, purl two together into both stitches. Do not slip off. And then knit two together, the same two stitches. And that's still one stitch increase because you did a knit front and back in the beginning. So you should have seven, two, four, six, seven. So we are on the right track. Now we have row 11. And that is plain knit. And then row 12 is knit four, one, two, three, four. Then we're going to purl two together, these two stitches, and then knit two together, the same two stitches, slip off, and then knit that last stitch. Row 13 is color B, and it is a plain knit row. Row 14 is knit three, knit front and back, that's our increase, knit one, and then we're going to purl two stitches together, and then knit those same two stitches together. So you might start seeing a little bit of pattern. Now this is our bottom edge of our scarf here, and this is our triangle shape. So this is the top edge, this is the bottom edge, this is right, right along this edge here is where your knit front and back is going to happen for your increases until you get to your full width and then you're gonna decrease. So it's a triangle, if that makes sense. Yeah, <laughs> trust me. All right, so row 14 is complete. Now you'll notice in your pattern that we're going to start the increase section. So there, um, this is just gonna be a repeat of eight rows and you're gonna do that until you get all your stitches that you need. I want you to buy the pattern. That's why I'm not going to tell you how many stitches there are. <laughs> so, um, so I'm just going to do one repeat of the increase, and then that way you can see what I'm doing. So, if that's eight rows, we'll we'll go through that one. Two. So we're going to go ahead and do row one, which is plain knit. Okay, row two is knit one, two, three, and now we're going to purl two together, knit two together across. So this is purl two together, knit two together, the same two stitches, and then purl two together, knit two together, the same two stitches, and then knit your last stitch. All right. Now we're gonna pick up color B, and this is row three, and we're going to knit. And then row four is our pattern row. So you might be able to see a little trend here. Every odd number row is plain knit. So since this is row four, we're going to knit three, knit front and back into this stitch for an increase. And then we're going to do our little patterning, which is purl two together, knit two together, the same two stitches. And then same thing for these two. Purl two together, knit two together, these two stitches. All right, row five is with color A, and we have a plain knit row. So once you get a lot of stitches on here, you, you'll be able to see that it's very rhythmic. You'll be doing the same thing across. Right now it's like little, so when you do your repeat, it's like, oh, I'm done, I'm done already. So this is row six, and we're going to knit four, and then we're going to purl two together, knit two together across. So that's purl two together, knit two together, purl two together, knit two together, and then knit your last stitch. Row seven is with B. And I'm sure you already guessed it, but it is a plain knit row. So one, three, five, seven, those are all plain knit rows. 
All right, row eight is knit one, two, three, knit into the front and the back of the next stitch, knit one, and then we're going to purl two together, knit two together, purl two together, knit two together. All right, so we should have, if we did everything correctly, a little patterning here, which I'm seeing. There's a little patterning going on there. And then this is garter stitch on the bottom. This is what the other side looks like. I think both sides are lovely. One side you'll see has a little bit more of the garter pearly ridges where the colors change and the stripe. And this one is a little bit cleaner with like very clean lines. But that is our little clove hitch stitch that's happening right there. So you can also see it's a little bit of a triangle shape. Um, and you're going to repeat those eight rows for your pattern stitch with your two colors. Just always repeating. Remembering to follow along. And this would be a good time, I think, to put a little marker where your right and your wrong side are. That might become very apparent because you can see you know, where you're at, but uh, maybe might be helpful for those that, like I said, just knit a little bit every day and don't remember where they left off. So the decrease section is similar to the increase section, except instead of doing that knit front and back stitch, you'll be doing, I think it's a knit two together. And that'll shape it back um, to where you barely have any stitches, just like we started over here with just three. So I hope that that was helpful. Um, I really love showing you these videos. I just think that, uh, you know, sometimes people just need a visual and, you know, that's what I'm here for. So leave a comment if you enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day.